No, 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 no. Oh my god. What is good, guys? My name is D Free, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super review, in which today we are going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super episode number goddamn 23. I don't know, man. I don't even know how to how to get this started. Fuck. <laughs> oh man, you guys know Gohan's my favorite character, and this episode is just like, why? Why? Last episode, I was like, bro, dodge. This episode, I'm like, bro, go and kick some fucking Frieza, Arkoji, and Dubline ass, bro. And he was just like, nah, I'm going to take this cell real quick. I don't know. All right, so just to recap the episode really quick for you guys, it starts off where the last episode ended, of course, and Piccolo is apparently dead. Everybody kind of was like up in arms about this. Like, no, he's not going to die, but apparently he did die. Trunks said he couldn't sense his key. Um, you know, they pretty much confirmed it. So, obviously, he's going to come back because later on in the episode, Goku's like, hey, we'll bring him back with Namek's Dragon Balls. And it's pretty funny because I derped this morning, I'm not going to lie. I watched the episode at like 8 a.m. and I was like, huh, why do they need to do that? So, then I tweet geeked him and he, he's like, LOL, do you remember, you don't remember how Frieza was arrived? I was like, huh? I thought about it for a second. I was like, oh, you son of a bitch. The goddamn year. Okay, because I was like, well, Dende's the god now, so it doesn't matter. The Dragon Balls are still there. But I was like, oh, yeah, the fucking year. You know, the rule that they, like, choose to use whenever they... I don't know. Anyways, um, so, yeah, apparently Piccolo is dead, and Gohan is just in shock. He's like, fuck, Piccolo is dead. He's like, man, if only I had kept up with my training, you know, I'd be able to protect people. And, you know, it's funny because Quillen then says, hey... It's, you're not wrong for doing that, and he's not wrong, but the funny thing to me was that, like, Krillin was like, yo, you're not wrong for wanting to protect your family and stop training. You know, it's perfect for Krillin to say that, because that's exactly what he did. He just, like, was like, fuck training, I'm gonna, you know, take care of my family. So, <laughs> I felt like Krillin knew exactly where Gohan was coming from, and it's just nice to see them have the interactions, because, you know, it was always the Gohan and Krillin show earlier on in the series, you know, so it's nice to see them have the interactions. And is it just me, or do these guys look really weirdly drawn? I don't know, it's just, it's not that the animation is bad. Um, I think that they just look weird sometimes. When they get the close-ups, they look incredible, but like arms look weird and hands, it's just, I don't know, it's probably just too much computer inter integration with the drawing or whatever the case is. But back to the recap. So, go on, powers up. And uh, at this point is when we cut to Goku and Vegeta training inside of that Wii staff god chamber type shit and you know they've gotten the hang of it apparently they're in there sparring and at that point beer is still chomping on some pizza this guy is enjoying that shit he's like bro give me some more pizza and Luis is like yeah sorry it's in the staff like the staff is like some fucking fridge apparently and <laughs> the all-seeing staff all-knowing staff all-containing staff and um so Beerus was like, fuck that, my food is most important. Whis was like, yeah, okay, well, I'll just cancel their training and bring them back. He brings them back, they come falling out, and then they're like, hey, why'd you stop us? We were just getting to a good part in our training. Okay, and Beerus then says, hey, it looks like they got a lot of training. He, I can't remember what he said exactly. He said something to the effect that, you know, they had a very long time training or something like that. So if somebody knows, let me know down below in a comment because that would also imply that time shifts differently. And that's what we thought anyway, because that's the only way they can get enough training in such a short amount of time. Because the reality is, you know, between the last couple episodes, two or three episodes, it's probably been less than 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, that's the reality. So, you know, moving forward. Uh, oh, you know, I want to say this. This was hella funny, too, because Beerus was just like, you know, when they popped out, because if you guys remember when they went in, they were like, oh, there's no food in here. Apparently, they discovered that the, the staff had the food inside of it, and they ate all the pizza, and Beerus was looking for the pizza, and he was hella mad. This shit had me hella weak. He's like, you bastard, you ate all my fucking pizza. And so he chases them around the planet. I just thought that was hilarious, having Beerus run on foot, chasing them around the planet over some fucking pizza. Beerus is the most petty guy you'll ever meet. At least he didn't go full Majin Buu mode over the pudding. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, he's about to get. <laughs> I was like, Beerus about to get pissed. Uh, but no, that didn't happen, at least. Uh, it's a good thing, you know, because we didn't want our main characters getting their asses kicked uh, right before such a major event. But, you know, Gohan is still powering up. He's like, you know what? Once again, he's just still, you know, just thinking about the fact that he's so weak now. And he notices maybe this will trigger him training. Honestly, I don't, I don't think he really will. I mean, he kind of mentioned to Chi Chi. Uh, when was that, like, five months ago when Goku left to go train with Luis? Hey, I'll start training. It's just weird. He's like, you know, he's still weak. He's just weak, and it's just like, you know, I I'm not one to talk anymore. I can't talk shit because my favorite character is such a fucking pushover, but, you know, I 
I, I still find joy and excitement in Gohan's character development. Honestly, I know that the show is predicated on fighting, but as Krillin said, you know, there's nothing wrong with him doing what he wants to do. That's just who he is. So, you know, I'm okay with that. Me personally, if you guys feel differently, hey, that's you. But me personally, I'm okay. I don't mind. I can say he's my favorite character. He always has been because I grew up with him. You know, I'm 21. Series has been out for about 18 years and I grew up with the guy, uh, literally. So, I don't know. So, he powers up and I, at this point, I thought he was going to kick some ass. I thought he was going to do some, some epic crazy shit because, you know, his body's all tattered up and they're like, how long is his power going to last? You know, Beerus even says, that's reckless. Do you think his body will hold up? Freeze is like, oh, you still have some power left in you. So, go on is just powering up and it looked like he was going to go Mystic or Slash Ultimate. That's the actual. Actually, technically, it's called Cho, so super, but anyways, um, you know, it looked like he's gonna uh, ultimate go on at that point, but then he just goes super saiyan. I was like, okay, that kind of shocked me, it surprised me a little bit. I thought he was gonna tap into the reserves for ultimate. Dragon Ball Super has changed the way that I think about the ultimate form. I had a video out a while ago explaining the form, it's kind of changed my way to think about it because you know, Gohan's pretty much said, Yeah, I need to train to maintain that form, it was never stated prior to this. And uh, hearing it from the series now, I'll believe it. But back then, you know, prior to these last few episodes, I thought that was bullshit because of the nature of the form. But anyways, he goes Super Saiyan and um, pretty much he acts as a beacon for Goku because at that time, Goku was trying to search out, you know, Ki. You know, in the movie, they all powered up and that's how he got there with the instant transmission. But Gohan did it enough. He pushed enough power for Goku to be able to spot where they were. And uh, Goku shows up. He's like, okay, Gohan, you did a great job. I was able to find you because you're key. And then he vows to take, he takes Piccolo to Dene and he vows that he's going to revive him. That's when we, you know, confirm that, you know, he's dead. And that's when they say, yeah, so we can use the Namek Dragon Balls. And I thought that was interesting to note, like I said, because I was just hella just derping this morning. And then um, after that, he tells Goten and Trunks that they've got to go away because it's no place for no kids. So they go ahead and do so. Uh, they head over to Dende's planet. And that's when Vegeta shows up and he takes care of Tagoma, just one shots him. And there's not even a trace of the guy left. You know, he's just completely gone. And Frieza comments like, man, you've gotten strong. And he's like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll kill you after I kill Goku. And Vegeta's like, yeah, I'll kill you. This is interesting, too, because in the next episode, when Goku's fighting Frieza, you know, Vegeta's going to show up and intervene because he's like, yo, I want a piece of the action just like he did in the movie. Um, in the movie, Frieza was like, yeah, I know that you hate him, too. I'll let you join my squad if you kill him. And... You know, having that interaction just now clearly shows that Vegeta's not loyal to Frieza because he just said he's going to kill him. So I don't know if that whole interaction is going to take place again at that point later on in the next couple of episodes. Just something interesting to note. Um, after that, pretty much Frieza transforms and pretty much shows off and kills all the soldiers. No trace of those guys either, by the way. Nobody's left but Tagoma. I mean, not Tagoma, Sword Bay. Everybody else is dead. Uh, I don't know what happened to Shisami's body. Somebody let me know what happened to Shisami's body. <laughs> he's dead too apparently everybody's dead and gone it's just those guys uh tagoma ginyu's gone frog tagoma is still there apparently um so yeah next episode we are going to have goku versus frieza in, in goku's base form the same beyond god form if you guys are interested in that form i have a video on my channel you guys should check it out it explains that form and uh you know he's gonna actually go into super saiyan god super saiyan slash super saiyan blue form in the next episode as well uh so yeah that's pretty much it you know my favorite part of the episode was just honestly as bittersweet as it sounds my favorite part was just watching gohan um you know lament on and, and just reflect as the better word on you know his his progression and well pretty much his uh regression into being a, a nobody a fuck boy essentially so just you know just lamenting on that and just thinking about it like hey you know maybe i need to do this maybe i need to do that that was my favorite part my least favorite part uh, was probably not seeing enough of the training that Goku and Vegeta did. Uh, this was a very eventful episode, but I just feel like we didn't see enough. I don't know. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not going to rate it. I haven't rated them in a while, so screw it. But I will be doing the favorite and least favorite thing from here on out. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. I will see you in the next review. Peace out, guys.